Greetings and welcome to session 12 of our journey through the first letter of John. We're in chapter 3 and we are at verse 4. Let me read uh, this session's verses for you. Everyone who makes a practice of sinning also practices lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous, as he is righteous. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning, for God's seed abides in him, and he cannot keep on sinning, because he has been born of God. By this it is evident who are the children of God, and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is the one who does not love his brother. Um, you will all, uh, those of you who uh, are watching this video know me, of course you all know that uh, I play golf. I'm a golfer. It's, it's uh, one of my passions. It's part of my kind of fitness regime, getting out there in the open air and taking a stroll around a golf course and hitting a few balls as I go. And um, one of the things that I do from time to time is I go down to the range. And down at the range, you're not actually playing a game of golf. You, you're focusing more on your technique. So you're not thinking about a hole and you're not thinking so much about distance, so much as the way you swing the club and the way the club makes contact with the ball and the way you stand and the way you turn and all of those sorts of things and the timing of all of that. Um, all of those things are important. You have to practice those things to become good at the game. You have to think about those things, you have to process them through and you have to practice them so that when you get onto the, the golf course, um, your, your body almost instinctively knows what it's supposed to do because you've been down to the range and you've been practicing and the muscle memory and everything else, it all builds and uh, when you get to the course it, it should be almost instinctive to do the right things. Occasionally, of course, I need to get some help with that. I need to go and see a, a professional and um, uh, he will uh, spend a session with me and he'll watch what I'm doing and he'll give me some tips and he'll change the way I do certain things in order to help me to progress and develop and the intention of course is that I've become at the end of it all um, a, a good golfer. Now this word practicing appears quite a lot in these few verses uh, and I, I want us to understand in this session that actually um, becoming what Christ is calling us to be requires some practice. It requires us doing these sorts of things. It requires some discussion. It requires some understanding. And it requires us actually working on stuff until we get it right. And sometimes we're going to need some help with that. Sometimes we're going to need somebody to stand alongside us and watch what we're doing and talk about it with us and give us a few tips and help us with our timing and, and our stance and everything else. Help us with all of that so that we can become the sort of people that Jesus is calling us to be. So that we can deal with uh, with the sin in our lives and get it out of the way, get it done with, um, so that uh, we can be free and uncumbered in our journey following him and, and ministering to the world around us. So as we go through this session, uh, I, I want you to just, I want to challenge you to just think about, actually, again, uh, what are the things I need to practice? Do I need to be practicing um, positive speech? Am I prone to speaking negatively? Do I need to be practicing uh, generosity? Am I a little bit tight-fisted sometimes? Do I need to be practicing being the, a person of peace rather than getting aggravated and upset about stuff? Uh, and what things am I going to do? How am I going to find things that are going to help me practice that so that I can begin to become that as the, uh, I kind of submit to the Holy Spirit and, and let him shape me? What things am I going to do to aid that process and practice being the person that God wants me to be? Um, I hope you will Carry those thoughts with you into this session and I will of course see you again later.